Alright so here it comes. Well to start with I will give you a short pre-story. My family owns a small house at the sea in a small region with about 250 people 30 minutes from a town called Sundsvall and then other parts of Sweden. If you look this up on a map you will notice that there is a lot of forest at the coast and that's where I spend most of my summers. I have done so since I was about 5 years old and during the summer about 50 more come to live in this region. Luckily for me I met 4 people all 1 year older than me there and we have for the last 12 years hung out during the entire summers, so we are all naturally very close. As we have grown older we have gotten bored with just hanging out in the village with maybe 60 inhabitants and have started to explore the place. Naturally this means we explore the forest. Two summers ago one of the guys told us about a lake in the woods that his dad used to take him fishing when he was younger. I know this might sound made up it's not there are plenty of these small lakes inside the woods, this one just happens to have a lot of fish so some people went there, anyways naturally we decided we should go there and check it out. It was like a 15 minute drive with a moped so we went out there a lot during that summer, but never spent the night. Last summer they had all gotten their driver's license, 18 in Sweden, and we could go farther away and bring things. So then one night, sitting at my friend's house playing Monopoly or something as we usually did one of the guys, let's call him Carl, said hey why don't we go to the lake and sleep there for a couple of nights and just fish from the lake and just bring potatoes, things to drink and other things we really need? We all thought this was a fun idea and had been thinking about doing it the previous summer but decided that we wanted a car to bring things in and in case of an emergency. The next day at the afternoon we left. We had bought the things we needed and had a big lunch. We brought more than we need, we brought phones and a stereo but it didn't really matter, also and I know this may make it less believable we brought alcohol, but I can say that I am very sure this had nothing to do with what happened, I will say why soon. The first night was normal. We had potatoes so we could stay 4 days if we wanted but decided that first night that we were going to save the alcohol for the second night, we didn't have too much and it would only be enough for one night of being shit faced. The second day was normal, the night was not. Out of the 5 of us 2 don't really like to drink let's call them John and Felix. We started the music and me Carl and let's call the girl Hannah started to get our drink on. After a while Carl and Hannah started making out, for me this wasn't out of the ordinary but for the others it was. John wasn't a big fan of Hannah and he and Carl were best friends, so Carl had kept it a secret from him. It had happened a few times over the past three summers but he had only seen it once the first of the three summers so he was surprised but didn't care too much. Felix had a crush on Hannah and I guess he had since he was like 8 and it never really went away completely. The last and only time he had seen it he had started to cry and claimed his girlfriend that he had never mentioned earlier had been in an accident. It is safe to say he did not like it. So when he got up and said that he wasn't feeling well and was going to take his car and go home to sleep because he wasn't feeling well, I wasn't surprised and pretended to believe him after some fake no please don't go. Are you sure you have to? It wasn't weird at all that he left his stuff and said he would be back tomorrow so there was no reason bringing it with him and left for his car, what was weird was when he came back after a while. I can't say how long it had been since I wasn't paying attention to my phone and I was pretty drunk. I remember thinking that he was acting weird but thought that it was probably because of the previous makeout session. However after a while I started to come back and he was still the same he usually talks a lot but had been so quiet the entire time, only answered questions and when he did, it was just short answers. I remember feeling that it started to get a bit creepy honestly I didn't think he was still that obsessed with her and even if he was why didn't he just go home? Did he just stay to see what they did? This is something that I didn't recall up until I started to read the posts on slash x slash about this a while back but now I can remember clearly how he tried to get one on one with all of us all the time. The only times he started a conversation was when someone got up, he instantly got up as well and asked where the person was going and if he could join. The one I recall the most and I thought was the oddest was when he asked Hannah if he could join her when she said she was going to pee. At this point I could see that my sober friend also had a feeling something was up, we looked at each other and he got up and said I need to call my girlfriend and quickly Felix was up but before he could speak, John added a non could you join me I need to ask you about that thing. At that point I remember looking at Felix and his eyes were just blank, as they had been since he got back. The conversation was quick we both agreed that something was up and since he is the only one in the group except me that believes in paranormal shit, we both agreed that this is probably nothing, but we both quickly shared that something could be up. We agreed to make the others go home with us, and went back to camp. Carl and Hannah were looking pretty tired so it was easy to convince the two drunk and tired people to go home for the night. We had two cars one belonging to Felix and one to John and since they were the sober ones they would be the drivers, now we just had to make sure he would go in a car alone. He did not seem pleased with the decision to leave but we didn't really care. 
and luckily for us he told us that he had parked his car elsewhere when he had almost left, because he started driving and then came back. We didn't really care and parted ways. The next day after almost no sleep and having John spend the night in my house we went together to Felix's house just 50 meters away from mine. I remember him eating breakfast and sitting on his laptop, when we came close he came out and said what the hell is your problem. I was shocked and asked what the hell he was talking about. He then filled me in on his night, how I had come after him on his way to the car and asked if he wanted to go for a walk since he seemed down, he had accepted and we had walked for a while, then I had told him I had to go for a pee and then I was gone. He was surprised but figured that drunk as I was I had gone back to the others. He was angry about this but had taken his car and gone home. This was two hours before we had left. I remember John saying something like alright haha good one. You really had us scared sorry if we made you angry or something Felix looked surprised back and I told him what he meant. The face he made then made it clear that he had not played a prank on us. After that we sat down after a while we started talking, we talked for like 30 minutes everyone wanted to be sure no one was messing around, and since the talk we have all pretended like it never happened. I realized there might be gaps and grammatical errors etc so sorry about that but I didn't really care. For those of you that think it's bullshit I honestly couldn't care less. Feel free to ask questions if you want to. This is OC and I only wrote it on request, I never write long texts and I realize this is shitty, but it's simply the truth.